Especially in the hands of Zayas, for example. I feel like Navi's draft. Of course, North America, that crucible of innovation in Dota 2. You know, uh, <laughs> Yuragi popping off the rage, as we discussed. Uh, trying to get some space. The power shot coming through, though. He's in a little bit of trouble. They're going to actually throw the blood grenade. Here comes a raise on top. And Yuragi about to be first blood. Easy peasy. Mechanic. Oh. Teko. It's a little boom bastic action, but the rage should keep him fresh for now. Thunderstrike doing a decent amount of work. The glimpse is there, and that's going to be a dead techies. Hey, Ragi. Okay, the wind run. Nothing much you can do against that for sure. But, I mean, with the Thunderstrike, she doesn't have much HP. So, uh, she will be punished by that. After the uh, the change in the olden days when you used to force your position 5 to feed you salves and tangos. Hello, monkey. Zayas is going to get rooted up here. But King, he's kind of in pretty deep. And they're he's ready to punish. But they will get that Frost Blast to take him down. And, uh, wow. <laughs> we'll, see how, we'll see how true that is. Obviously, versus a double range lane, especially with the wind run, maybe, uh, maybe you can kind of eke it out a little bit longer. Monkey King gonna get handled down bottom. Uh, actually, in the mid, actually, as he tried to come through and deny. Uh, He's a position four and a half. The net under Razor. Okay, nice. He's gonna drop that boat on top, but Malady ready with what can he do from them here? Monkey in from the backside. They already finished him off, though. Zaya slapping down. Here comes Sangsty with a beautiful magnetize, though. Just made it to fall. Nice Ru rotation, though. He drops a little bit of a stun of his own. And uh, they're going to clean house here. Disruptor, I would be running if I were you. Yo, no, wait. Lifestealer came into the fight. They're actually going to fight on. Sangsty, he gets saved by the Lifestealer and Fast Bomb. Okay. I mean, they flipped that right up. And uh, they take the kill lead off the back. Optimization wise, he will go for the Radiance into the Manta, actually. Already with the armlet phase boots finished up at 12 minutes into the game. A oh, cheeky bracer there as well. Hello. Techies with the initiation. They go in on top of Malady here. The disarm comes through. Sanctity looking for an angle, but the frostbite from Crystal Maiden. Nice use of the rock. Monkey King from the high ground. Here comes the effort in from the side. The plasma field doing so much work for them. Wait, a race is going to TP out. Can't cancel that. They will finish off the two supports. All right, all right. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Razor got a, a whole 25 damage before Kunka was... Really uh, put to use when you have your Monkey King up in the trees. Giving you that fly vision. Okay, they'll drop a little bomb downtown. Oh man, I hate the fact you can't dodge those bombs. It's so annoying. Well, you can, but like, they're, the sticky bomb is... Yeah, you can sometimes, but not always. Oh, the deny with the creep. The shovel creep denying the amplified damage, dude. All right, never mind. They're going in here hardcore, making it happen. Holy moly, Crystal Nova. And doing some decent work here. Nice right, freezing field, whatever. Um, I don't know, it's just an absolute bloodbath here. Three heroes dying for either side to even get themselves. Oh, the Radiance finished up and uh, Armlet, 20 minutes, feels okay, man. And honestly, his lane feels like it's went, you know, it's gone It's gone pretty well. And that's exactly what you need on a life stealer for the game to feel pretty good. Malady in a bit of a pickle here. All right, power shot from downtown. Torrent on top. He gets a little bit of a save from his life stealer, but he'll still go down in the end. Now, Wind Ranger trying to TP out. She will not make it, though. Too much damage on Yuragi. And they pull him back here. Monkey King getting handled. The Atos on top of Kunka. He says, maybe we can fight back in this. Popping off his wand. The X marks the spot. Pulling him back in. They use literally everything. It's only two versus four now. I don't think they can turn this too much. The BKB coming through the boat to the face. And... Uh, they will give up the chase as they see. This could be quite spicy. I mean, if they can find the real Naga. Oh my god, they're going to find the really are running right for him. The beeline. They find the Crystal Maiden. Naga actually shows in the process. They'll take CM down. Oh, the vessel doing some work. She will go down. The Connect Field Stack Storm setup is there. Naga Song did go off the boat coming through. Maybe they can turn us around. Lifestealer in a real pickle. He is getting a slap down. He already used the Infest, sadly, for the initiation here. They will get the Naga Siren. Lifestealer both. They both fall. Now they're looking for a raise here as he scoots away. The Spirit Vessel, the glimpse back. He is toast. Hello there. Sancti tries to go in a little bit deeper. He didn't quite get the Vessel charge off in time and Windranger going to run to safety. Did have a couple to work with. 
That was a rather unfortunate situation for them. And, uh, I mean, it felt good. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. They see the Crystal Maiden. They got the glimpse back away, by the way. The full level four glimpse. And, uh, wait, how did she do that? Oh, the she X, got four stuff. Nice. All right. Take a disruptor on the far side of things. Trying to deal with the tackles. Tackles is toast. Now the boat coming in on top. The blade mail action. Here comes Sanctity. The magnetized. Ready to go. It's out. It's in there. Zayas hopping up and away from Arrays. Arrays absolutely controlled. Damn, it's unreal. And uh, really, really clean team fight potential from Navi there. Wait, they got so Until. what? Until <laughs> break. All right, they see Rude, and you have to kind of be like, "Hey, what's going on here?" Power shot coming through. Life stealer Yuragi coming up as well. Rude keeping himself fresh for now. Trying to TP out with the glimmer cape. Not gonna happen. Don't worry about that. The BKB on BKB action is Razor draining damage, but the Focus Fire shoving him down. Despite the situation, that's the beauty of the Maelstrom. You can't take all that damage away. Malade getting hunted by Kunka here. Yuragi trying to find a little uh, hunt of his own. Nava, uh, Naga in pretty deep with the Song of the Siren. And they get set up for this one. Spirit Vessel going to go out though. Malady surely dies in the process. Connect Field actually goes out. He'll finish off the Crystal Maiden. Now King trying to back up. There's no way to glimpse him back this time around. But he's getting slowed up. It's acting in the fall up. The Spirit Vessel on top. And the TP out. Oh. Oh my god. I think that was a 7 second BKB. Now yeah. it's all, all the way down to 6. Here's the counter play. Monkey King pretty obviously showing here. But Yuragi with the paw pattern. Surprise. They melt him pretty much instantly. The monkey is toast. Yuragi trying to make a play here. The roll in from Sanctity to magnetize on three. Static Storm goes out. There's no kinetic field to hold them in place. Sanctity still rolling in. The BKB available. The Song of the Siren. Glimpse for they're, five. They're just going to all TP Pretty out. good for Yellow Submarine, actually. Wait, what is this? No, I thought you'd find something, but... Kind of sticking around here on the Razor. BKB getting popped. All right, Yuragi with the rage, looking to try and get in top of the Kunka here with the BKB blade mill. Just allows him to just walk out of the connect field. And now Yuragi, he's inside the Naga Siren, smashing up. The silence coming through from Sanctity, holding him in place. He tries to get out and help a bro, but it's not happening. And they're just throwing everything on the kitchen sink. <laughs> it looks like Yellow Submarine are the ones who are going to come out ahead here. Zaya is going to commit for one extra. Wait, they get the Kunka. That's a little bonus on the side, Yuragi. What have you got left? These agents will pop. Now the Wukong's command, not going to get anything done. It's Yuragi versus four. He has infested one, though. What can he do here? He can do nothing as he's stunned for the duration. Six seconds for Roche. Oh, they're coming for Naga. She's alone. Uh, I mean... I don't know if they're trapped in there with her or she's trapped in there with them, but uh, Zayas, he gets the Glimmer Cape and the Song of the Siren. He wants to make sure he gets this kill. <laughs> ah, this could be a little bit on the green side. The BKB coming through the Stock Storm Connect field. They try for the TP out and he's no out of there. Way. No Ags, of course, so nothing much they can do to stop that. All right, okay. So 31 to 28, 12k net worth, Aegis and Cheese in hand for Yellow Submarine. So scout out a little bit more information. Once again, Power Shot coming through, finding Zaya, it's breaking his tree, the Focus Fire. Gonna shut him down, now Connect Field, Static Storm goes down, Crystal Maiden trapped in amongst all this goo, the boat coming down, tired, dropping in on top. Yo, Yuragi wants to sh finish off this Crystal Maiden, the triple four staff, double four staff at least, trying to get him to safety. BKB popped off as he tries to go hand bones onto Rue now, but Rue with the Glimmer Cape gets himself to safety. King, he throws off the Song of the Siren, gets glimpsed back. That BKB will run its course, and King going to be able to get himself to safety. Now is the time to run for that massive minefield that he's been saving up this whole time. Wait, there's a life stealer inside him, and it feels real bad. Uh, he was stuck in there for a few seconds. BKB get popped off on this uh, Wind Ranger. The fret goes in, but at the end of the day, they're trying to pull him into this minefield. Like, let's come over here, boys. Oh, come over here. Water's great. Come on in. Nice use of the cheese. Kunka, though, it's still going to go down. And amongst all this, here we go into the minefield. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, they get sung today. Nice. Nicely done. Now they turn things the other way. They get the house of Yuragi as well. No, it finally paid off. Now the fret versus the Wind Ranger. He's getting focus fired down that high ground. Nice. Science with a save. No. Oh, the power shot chance missed him. <laughs> <laughs> Keep buffing it up, you know. 
Do you I like these? Uh, do you like these consumable items? You know, like the uh, consumable ags and the consumable moon shard, and then the ag set, the ag shard. You know, like basically giving you like nine slots. Oh, oh my! I do. It's over. And it's, it's over, bro. First game. I, uh, I like the life stealer eraser even more. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even expecting them to be that far forward, so I wasn't quite centered with the camera. If I'm honest, I had the focus fire coming through, he's slapping and hopping. The BKB not going to keep him alive for too long. Let's get out of there safely, though, somehow. Nefrit trying to fight back in this. It's working. The connect field, the static storm, it's all in on top. Goodbye, Wind Ranger. But, oh, the Aegis are actually timed out. 99 seconds on the sideline. He does have buyback available. Not going to use it, though. Nice glimpse action. Turning back the other way. Trying to get in on top of the Earth Spirito. The GGs are already out. The buyback came through from the Wind Ranger in the end there. But game one going to Yellow Submarine. And that'll be not back, question mark? Navi, not that question. All right, let's break it down for game two. I feel like it's a pretty good matchup for him once he gets a few levels, so. Sanctity getting punished pretty hard here, but nice use of the side blades. Looking for the angle. Nice. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh my God. This stops channeling. Who made this skill? Wait, what? Oh my God. The blast off coming through under the tower. Oh no, he was mighty morphing Aji. 61. Oh my god. Malady getting hunted down now as well. He tries to escape. One more, two more right clicks, maybe. Oh, no, 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 he'll use the skewer. Get it. The job. We got uh, first sight embracer on Sven into phase echo. Oh no, they got him again. Well, I, I looked top for two seconds, bro. Dude, this is like. Having a, a puppy, you cannot look away from it. No, or it just no. Tears up he's everything. he's eating the carpet right now, dude. I don't know. And at Malady, he tries his best to try and get something off here, and they're both super low. But uh, it's gonna be some free gold for Rue. Only only twenty yeah, so gold. Soft delivered. He's back to fighting form. Fifteen seconds for another low to sorb, and also both of them running infused raindrops. By the way, Morphling down to only three infused raindrops left. Up top, nice avalanche toss from Zayas. Wait though, wait, Nefret trying for uh, run back in under his tower. It's done. Oh. He's gonna get the kill on the bot right there. Now King diving under the tower himself. Can he get this kill into the TP? Yes, he can. Anything left on Zayas? No. They wanna be in this game. Oh, they're they're looking for the invasion. They're all here, by the way. Four heroes. Maybe they can find something. Rue would be the easiest pick up. They spot these stacks. All right, Avalanche trying to deal with the illusion. Here comes Magnus. He's level 7. He's got some stuff of his own. A little RP action. Shocker will top the bomb as well. And then we'll, we'll throw out the Black Hill. And they end up going even on kills here. But the stacks, the stacks, Sanctity kind of rob this larder that's been carefully prepared. Yo, Sven coming over here. Maybe they can get something back the other way. Nice little storm hammer to start things off. He pops off that big ass wand though. Down to the low ground they go, and it's full retreat now from Yellow Submarine. Yellow as they Submarine. Make. So this farm is going to accelerate. Okay, Especially Storm Hammer. It's an easy in. malady kill. Wait, he goes for a little bit of Anko breaking. <laughs> I think he was trying to make sure the Enigma got out alive, you know, by, by forcing it to try and play the other way. Yeah, interesting rush here. It's really good versus Shiragi, actually. Okay, the smoke up. They grip Zayas here on the taggies. And he's going to get handled pretty nicely. King comes through with a little... Uh, a little storm hammer action. Sorry, I just read the chat. Alright, I'm launches there. Little bomb downtown. Oh, he tossed him away from the bomb. Awkward. Okay, Zayas getting controlled. Forced back in with the flame break. They get the RP picking up on Malady. Lose Rue in the process. Wait, the Stormhammer down time. That will finish off the tiny. Here's Shiragi into the black hole on three. Oh, the melting. The melting. Array's trying to get away, but no cigar. A four times kill streak ended on the Magnus. Oh, mighty morphing Aji. Very bold, very brave. A little bomb on top for Maldi, but the quick right click. Nicely done, by the way. Sven goes in with the, uh, the Stormhammer. Play and a little bit too deep, in fact. The suckening just disabling him completely. And the rest of the team are kind of probably eyeballing him right now. Like, yo, Sven, what are you doing, bro? Yo, the follow up, the TA sanctity. He's shutting down the dreams of poor old Batrider. A little bit of bomb back the other way. The tree from that time with the blink away. 
He'll keep himself fresh for now. Another person's shoving out the waves. Like, why can my morphling just not be normal and farm ancients? <laughs> oh, they got a little grab here. They got the techos on the other side. Sanctus just blew him up. But Malady, he's popping off this glimmer cape, trying to get himself to safety. It's really awkward. Yuragi diving forward. Maybe he gets a little bit of redemption. E-Blade. No, it was just actually just straight up uh, Pugna Decrepify. Ignore me. E-Blade or Ghost Scepter at this point in the game. Are you serious, Juice? He's position not five. yet. Soon. Okay, okay, yeah. a little initiation here. You used to break things up a little bit. The BKB into the black hole, though. Yuragi with a follow up. Sven will fall. And honestly, that's going to be a dead timber saw as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yuragi showing that he's like, okay, I messed up. <laughs> yeah, but... Hello? A little, a little initiation. Feels spooky. Instantly killing off the Bat Riders. IS getting forced up to this tier 3 tower. The Yules play though. Sanctity with a follow up. There's a little boombastic action. He tries to get out. He will not survive. Gets hit with a shockwave. King showing up to this fight as well. And Sanctity saying, Come on up to the high ground, my friends. I've got a little surprise for you. They see him though because of this ward on the high ground in this sentry. All right, slapping, happening. He does have no BKB, but an Aegis in hand. Oh, a little spicy. Okay, the horn toss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to fight back into this. No black hole for quite some time. Yuragi with a push forward here. Can they get anything done? Nice dust. BKB popped on Sven. Starts to go hambos on the back line. Starts to work his way through in the front. Now can you look at Sakti? He's so low though. Will fall to Yuragi as they go deep now, looking for a raise. That's a triple kill for Yuragi. And I'll tell you what, maybe he can't beat a Tormentor by himself, but he can definitely beat uh, Yellow Submarine. No, a little blink on top of Rue. He's already trying to get himself away, though. Okay, okay, here's Yuragi. Aww. And uh, take, a look. take a look on the left side of the map. Sanctity is hunting down that bat rider. Right yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, and he gets the stack while he's here. Actually makes this worthwhile. When's the next Wisdom Rune in 15 seconds? I'd probably stick around for that, actually. I'm greedy, though, in the position one. I mean, he's still got another sort of maybe six or seven minutes of, like, supremacy for this Templar Assassin. Itemization still flowing very nicely. Now have full Daedalus. Desolator up to 18 charges. Hurricane Pike, Blink Dagger, nice mobility options. Skipping the BKB still and going to look for the Butterfly. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Oh, not like this. Ooh, ooh. BKB. Didn't get his BKB off in time and they're holding the black hole just in case he does. Oh, you beast. He hits so hard. He didn't have his BK available for <laughs> Just, Just don't look left, guys. <laughs> Backdoor protection's up, but uh, TA was able to chunk it down a significant amount. There's going to be a creep wave coming in the mid lane here. Sonic's going to be working his way into the minefield. Feels awkward as heck without that BKB. The four staff away gets his refraction up in time. Yuragi now going forwards. Goodbye, Magnus. The black hole on nothing. Now is it time for yet? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't tip him actually, honestly. Oh, tier 3 first. A little scouting out action by the Uragi Illusion. Navi feeling kind of comfortable. Oh, Sven going in. He's completely silenced up. Uragi finds the Bat Rider. Now, now Sven connecting up the BKB, the suckening for Malady. Deep dive in for a horn toss to get themselves the Pugna at least. Alright, that buyback paying off somewhat. Yuragi going on Hambo. Sven already dying. 60 seconds, 70 seconds on the sideline. Stormhammer coming in from downtown. That's Yuragi Stormhammer. And that's the GG. And we will indeed go to a game three. As uh, Yellow Submarine top out. It's a reversal of tempo coming out from Navi here in this game two. Got a couple ways to cancel the black. Zero is such a plague though. Just able to morph down full agi, use your 18 charge wand, and be be perfectly healthy again. Criminal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And a uh, very early falcon blade as well, so he's gonna have that sustain in the lane. Oh my god, the first blood it was behind the tower actually. God dang. Do anything, anything wild. Yeah, yeah they go for the damage drain uh, again. Hoodwink is still here, and go for that six minute rune. The TP across from Pugna. 
Little blast action. Boom. And Malady going to fall. And that'll be a kill back the other way. Yo, are you okay there, King? He is fine under the tower. See him rapidly getting low. But of course, it's a Morphling. So, I mean, it's, it's in his wheelhouse to do such things. Navi against Radiant. And Rue, he just feels so comfortable right now just waiting for this. You know, he's like 10 seconds. I'll do a stack. I'll get myself the Wisdom Rune. Zaya's going to fall back. Pick up the one for the Dire. It's going to be a nice 50 50 exchange. First uh, dragon form on Sanctity, just using it to farm at the moment. Maybe he can apply some pressure. Oh, wait, hang on. Kinka's on the roam. My bad. He actually got haste rune and he's murdering Malady right now. Wait, Zayas? Came all the way over here for the wisdom rune, huh? Why is Malady here? I, I guess he tried to come over and help out. Huh. I. Yeah. Just yep, hunted down yep. by the Kunka. Pugna sitting in the mid lane trying to get some XP, Zayez. He's going to throw the blood grenade, but it's not going to end up being too effective, sadly. Alright, feels okay, man. Feels okay. Oh, when well, I say that with the plasma field, he doesn't have mana for it. Why would you go back in, dude? No! Okay, never mind. He's dead. Here's a little sucky sucky action in the middle lane. They're throwing everything to the kitchen sink at Arrays. By the way, there's two heroes sitting on the Wait, 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 Tangy's trying to follow up again! The bushwhack! I have to murder him as well. A little spice on top. Tangy's was like, yeah, I can get this guy wrong. They were ready for that, and Arrays gives him a very well deserved tip, I would say. A massive stack happening down here in the. Dire triangle. Saying to the <laughs> they don't really it. have the heroes to like quickly do it either, you know? Maybe I guess if Razor's here or Enigma puts down the uh the Midnight Pulse, uh could have sped things up a little bit, but yeah. yeah it's you, a team uh, effort. Only well, action I mean, here is Aya getting gone on. Oh, they're coming, King. they're 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 actually right on top of them, by the way. The smoke up, they throw the stampede, they come through, trying to get on top of the fruit. There will be a hookshot. Zaya is gonna get handled elsewhere, as you said. Uragi, the suckening no though, from the Pugna King trying to get away to safety. They turn it up on the flat side here in the front. He pops off the black hole onto a uh, center with a blade mail up. And it will not be the glorious black hole that he was looking for as they end up taking four across the map. You admit. Wow. Just, uh, just a decent outcome, all, uh, you know, overall. As, uh, as King's even in here. See if he can find some of these leftovers. Oh, talking about a leftover, Zayas. He killed back to back. Feels bad, man. Can't even TP out when he respawns. Maybe it'll be off cooldown. No. No. And he's so close to his blink dagger, too. Awkward. It feels, yeah. Very, uh, very awkward. Link, stop, follow up, and that'll be a dead malady. And it's <laughs> <laughs> you can never put that potential away. Oh no, watch out, King, here. But I mean, yes, Aegis, what can you even do to him? The Lincolns, he's going to hunt down Zayas here. Are you going to stop me? I'm going to come right in on top of you, a little. Oh, a little bushwhacking, a shot from down town. That's a razor. Oh no. Wait, what? Oh, I see, Yuragi. I see, I see, I see, yeah. yeah. The blink stun from Sanctity. Hey, look at this thing, Pinky, up on Pugna, Pugna gonna fall. Turn it around back the back line, the black hole's there on two, but that blade mill again doing so much work for them. They pop off the BKB, King trying to man fight his way through this situation. Is it working? I don't know, there's a lot of suckening happening here, the slapping happening, they will take down Yuragi's razor here, will they, Jeeves? I don't know, actually. Yeah, definitely. Dancing. Right? Getting out. And that shot no. like this. Oh, no, he's still alive. Are you serious? The ankles have been broken. He keeps on running. This time they will. I mean, he's so fast. They do not connect. They do not connect with the uh, BKB to get yourself out of trouble. And he is going for it now. Like, he's he's falling back for BKB now. He has everything else that he needs already on the ticket. You know, he's got the Manta, the Axe, the Blink Dagger, and the Mage Slayer that we talked about. Uragi hey, about to get looking. smoked on. Hello there, BKB. Not going to get it off just yet. Now he does, though, turning things back around the other way. Sanctity looking for that back line, see what he can do. But they will take down the Lion in the meantime. Take out Techies now as well as King turns into Raid. Now uh, looking for Sanctity, the Gleipnir going to connect up here, the uh, will connect forward here, the Suckening, Zayas, he tries to get this Morphling under control, but the BKB coming out, the Black Hole oh, instantly cancelled, no. or at least I think he cancelled it himself. He did. He realised he wasn't going to get anything out of it. I mean, if you can, 
I mean, he already did a real number on the tier one, mid, uh, tier three mid even. So the tier two, the tier three top is also just a few taps from getting taken down. And Navi, they realize the danger, so they smoke up and they look to try and curl around here. Obviously, they were expecting the pressure to come on that bottom lane, but with the Eidolons being unslain and uncontested, they are kind of aware. Oh, nice. They collapse on Pagna. They'll cut that back line out. They find themselves the Hoodwink as well. It's a pretty decent kill, given how penetrating and annoying she's been. Rue gonna get away with the benefit of the stampede, like though. Them. Oh, they're still coming. The plasma field clips them for the slow. The Gleipnir comes through, but those two right clicks. Ah, it's too much damage. Got it. All right, all right, all right. I mean, I hey, went for the X marks the spot play. TP didn't kill the creep wave, but DK's already down here. He's already got the illusions working away. They're going to have to use the fortification, but King's quite happy with this. He goes up to the high ground. Remember, he still has that Aegis to play with. He's going to need it because he's dead. First life taken. They do get that tier 3 tower in the meantime. Now, Sanctity's back here as well. The black hole. Here it is. Is it working? enough? King, the sucking and keeping him alive for now. It's nowhere near enough. They'll smash through two heroes. No problem. 80 seconds on the sideline for Yuragi. Sanctity's BKB forced out. He is X, but it will run its course. And this BKB going to still be online, and they're going to get themselves a full set of rocks. Well, the fortification will hold them back, but they've got a double catapult wave here, so... Pretty sure they still take it. Downtown, that tier 3 tower, getting a little bit weak to the creep. Like, uh, best case scenario. Oh, the initiation might not the light near on top. The DK to fall. Zayas tries to do something, but it's hopeless. Yuragi, he goes for the counter play. He goes in versus four. I don't think this is the move, my friend. That was his dieback, and that's going to be GG. And it will be Yellow Submarine securing that upper bracket slot. And Navi to fall to the lower bracket. Absolutely. A heater of a series. Yellow Submarine taking... Games one and three, winning the series. Uh, and this is a tough scene for Navi, knowing that.